Today is September 30th, and this is part 10 of the 1972 Sportcraft cabin boat project. All right, so as you can see, uh, what I've been working on so far today is, like I mentioned at the end of the last video, um, is grinding down the outside of the transom and basically just got off all the old gel coat uh, that was on the outside of the transom. And the reason I did that is because I want to put like two layers, uh, at least one layer, maybe two layers of the one and a half ounce chop strand matting uh, on the outside, the entire outside of the transom, just to help level it out and tie everything together with the uh, the big patches up there that I had to, to put where I could put those holes in the transom to put the wood in there. And um, just make it all nice and sealed up and fresh and then I'll be able to fair it out really nice with that fairing compound that I got and then uh, roll my gel coat on the, the outside. So that was the project for today. It didn't take me all that long to get it get it ground down with the flap disc. And um, I still gotta do the same for the, the splash well. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna far up I'm gonna grind the, the gel coat down. Um, probably just like the main area here and then on the sides a little bit and then maybe be able to blend it into the uh, the sides there. Um, but that's what I've been working on so far today. Um, I might start laying up a little bit of glass um, and hopefully get some time lapse of that. Um, and that'll probably be about all I'm going to do today. I may go in the cabin and start uh, working on the bump structures a little bit. Um, just like gluing them together with the, the wood glue and the screws like I was talking about in the last video. But um, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, stay tuned for more updates. Today is October 7th, 2018, and I'm doing a little bit more work on the transom back here. Um, I meant to get some time-lapse video of the starting the fairing process, but I've been kind of just like experimenting and learning the uh, the Total Boat polyester uh, fairing compound that I bought. Seems to be working pretty well so far, um, but I just didn't get any video. and uh, so. Hopefully if I do some more filling, which I probably will have to do, um, I'll show a little bit of that. But um, anyways, it's looking pretty good so far. As you can see, it got pretty much the, uh, the entire outside of the transom coated. And um, it's not taking too much because I was able to get it sanded pretty smooth anyways. And um, that's the good thing about chop strand is you can sand it and it, uh, it sands pretty flat, you know, anyways, uh, without having to, to really fill it too much. but. Just putting a skim coat on there. Um, I still got to sand up in the uh, the top areas there. I just put a, a layer on that because I had to do a little bit more glass work up there. Um, and then also in this area over here um, is where those two holes were for the like the steering cables and the battery cables and stuff. There were two big um, circular holes there, and one of them we weren't using when we had the outboard on it originally, and the other one. It, we had to clearance it or somebody had to clearance it um, at some point to fit the cables that we were using so it was like you know not right at all I guess so I 
I um, went ahead and filled those in with glass and um, just got done putting the uh, like the first bit of fairing compound on there so they look pretty nice and whenever I get my new steering cables and shift cables and everything uh, the ones that I want that'll work with the uh, the Johnson um, then I'll try to cut out a hole for the right size and like the right location and then get a nice grommet for it and everything but um, it's coming out pretty good I did some more work on the splash well too um, uh, went before I did the uh, the holes there and just been ferrying that out and uh, so it's looking good um, I'm hoping I can get this thing in gel coat pretty soon um, the outside and the splash well and um, there's a little bit of area underneath the edge of the hole here at the bottom of the, the uh, right at the back of the, the boat, the stern, where um, I was doing some work under there, some glass work, and so I need to uh, fair that out. Um, but to do that, I had to pull it off the trailer just a little bit to get to that whole area. It's like a foot wide strip all the way along the back. And um, so I gotta fair that out, and I wanna do like all of this in one shot with the gel coat so there's not any. Um, like distinct lines between the the gel coat sections you can blend them together but it just saves me some work if I do it all in one one go so that's the plan um, it's probably not gonna be for another week until I can do that um, but it's coming along and I did a little bit more work up in the bunk structures there not much just uh, doing a little bit more uh, like putting a few more of the, the one by ones on the edges where the, the bunks are gonna rest on so did a little bit of that but not too much work um, I am pretty much out of resin still have quite a bit of glass um, but I'm gonna have to get some more resin and also I'm out of cabasil so I need to get some more of that and then hopefully I can uh, start tabbing in some of those bunk structures since I have the uh, the layer of chop strand down over the entire deck I was waiting to do that and I wanted to work on the transom and uh, try to get this in gel coat first um, and then, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I also put another layer of 1708 and a layer of one and a half ounce chop strand on the inside of the transom uh, to build up the inner skin. Um, so I think that's pretty much done. I may add another layer of the CSM at some point before I gel coat, but I'm not sure. We'll see how I feel. I think it's pretty strong right now. And um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get some more video next week when I work on the boat. And uh, I'll see you then. What's up guys, today is October 19th, 2018, and I'm out here doing some more work on the boat. Um, as you can see, I got the outside of the transom and the splash well uh, gel coated. Um, I still want to put one more coat on it, but I'm going to wait until I get my holes drilled for the, uh, for the engine and for the like, steering cables and uh, whatever else I need to drill holes in the transom. Just make sure they're all in the right spot, and then I'll put that uh, coated gel coat in there just to seal up the uh, resin and the peanut butter that are already sealing up the holes and the wood. Um, 
So I got that done. Um, I didn't get a lot of video of that, but I got a little bit. Um, and I was just kind of experimenting with the gel coat and that uh, fairing compound, so I didn't really get too much video. But uh, hopefully when I do some more gel coat work on the inside of the boat, I'll be able to get some more video. Um, but the project I've been working on the last couple days is something I said I wasn't going to do right away in the last video. And that is the side stringers here that go up on the sides of the hole there. Um, as you can see, I got them cut out and ground down. Uh, I spent the last two days, um, or last day and a half I guess, uh, grinding down those and then also up in the front of the cabin back there uh, towards the bow. Um, where I had mentioned I need to do a little bit more, little bit more grinding um, where the bunk structures and the supports for the bunks are going to go. So I think, uh, hopefully, crossing my fingers, that the grinding is now pretty much 99% done. There's always going to be a little more here and there, uh, but as far as the inside of the boat goes, I think it's about 99% done. And that makes me super happy because I hate grinding and I'm sick of it, but um, had to do it and, you know, Get it, you gotta get the surface prepped right, otherwise the glass won't stick and you're doing all that glassing and work for nothing, so. Um, I just wiped these areas down with acetone and I'm um, getting ready to try to peanut butter the boards in that I got. Um, I'll show you those in a second. They're just some, uh, like two by fours, um, but they're like five and a half inches or four and a half, five inches wide. Um, so they match up with the, uh, the little uh, supports there that I had already glassed in before previously um, and they're pretty much the same size as the original and so I'll get those peanut buttered in and glassed in with some 1708 and then I gotta make the uh, parts that go up to the top there um, I haven't cut those out or anything I got the other boards resined and they're ready to go in and also got the uh, the bunk structures that I had cut out and glued together they're resined and ready to go in as well so um, been making some progress and uh, I'm getting excited to hurry up and get the rest of the glassing done in this thing so I can um, start gel coating the inside but all in good time and uh, then I gotta start, start thinking about putting the outboard on this thing so that's gonna be sweet so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work and uh, I'm gonna try to get some time lapse of me doing the glassing and peanut butter and stuff on those uh, stringers in there so yeah we'll see you then all right guys so here's the uh the side stringers I was talking about. As you can see, I got them cut out and shaped, uh, just pretty much like the originals, and um, got them coated in resin. And I'm getting ready to mix up some peanut butter and peanut butter them in, create my fillets, and then I'll put some tabbing, you know, onto the uh, onto the hole, just like a, a regular stringer would be. And then I got to make the uh, the part that comes from here up to about the. Uh, uh, the cap separation there and um, that's where the uh, the old ones stopped um, I'm not sure exactly what shape I'm gonna do the top the top of the uh, original one just came like straight up and then went straight in and it was like a hard line there and this corner wasn't attached to anything and then it had a board just like screwed between the two uh, front and back ones so not quite sure how I'm gonna do them yet but try to do something uh, maybe a little better and I was thinking about for the board that goes across, um, if I put one on there, I'm gonna do some some red oak or something a little bit more prettier wood that I can like stain or oil or varnish or something. Because um, I would like to do some some bright wood uh, like accents and just beautification pieces around here eventually. So, anyways, go ahead and get some peanut butter mixed up and put these things in.
All right, guys. So today is October 28th, and uh, I haven't done any work on the boat today, but I wanted to uh, just kind of talk about a few things that I have been doing. Um, I've been trying to get some time lapse and other footage of me actually doing the work, but just wanted to give a quick uh, rundown on what I've done the past couple weeks or so. Um, so let me switch the camera around and go ahead and show you. Okay, so first off, um, I think I mentioned it in another clip, uh, but I decided to go ahead and do these side stringers that in the last video I said I wasn't going to do, or at least I wasn't going to do them right away. Uh, I decided just to go ahead and do them because I knew if I quit fiberglassing now, then I would never want to start it again and, you know, grind all that and get the dust everywhere on the clean boat and everything. So went ahead and tore them out. Uh, they weren't really glassed in well at all from the factory. Uh, so it wasn't that hard to get them out and uh, just got the uh, some boards shaped up and got them peanut buttered in and got them tabbed in some 1708 um, I still have to wrap some chop strand around the uh, the front sides and the top sides of all of them just to seal up the uh, exposed wood um, so I have to do that but that wasn't too bad of a job and it made the hull so much stiffer on um, the whole sides and uh, so I'm, I'm glad I did it now. I just got it over with. And uh, that way I can just go ahead and gel coat it like all the way up there and it'll be nice and clean and strong. Um, also, if you can see up there, the little spots of light, um, there were two through hole fittings there for the uh, little porta potty that was in the cabin. And I got rid of the porta potty. I don't think I want to put it back in just cause I don't want to screw holes in my floor to, um, to mount it. And uh, I don't really think I need it. It's only a 19 foot boat and uh, you know, I guess if I end up thinking I need one, then I can buy like a self, con you know, contained uh, compost thing or something. You know, I have to do some research into that. Research into that, but this is not like an extended stay boat, anyways. You know, obviously it's only 19 foot. So went ahead and got the uh, the hole through fittings out, and um, I patched the uh, the holes. I haven't put any glass on it from the inside, but I uh, glassed it from the outside, and it's ready for glass on the inside now. So that'll be nice um also up there let me actually get in the boat and show you a little closer um i think i mentioned before i wanted to replace the uh the bow eye up here just because the old one was kind of small and um i wanted to take it out anyways and beef up the area with fiberglass uh just to make sure it's nice and strong so i went ahead and ordered the same size that i have for the rear it's half inch um real nice heavy duty bow eye and I got the old one out and ground the area down and uh, put a little peanut butter in the holes, the original holes, uh, the thickened resin and then I put uh, a couple layers of 1708 and some chop strand over that, the whole area there and so that's nice and strong now and um, I also kind of cleaned up the outside of the boat on the bow where it mounts and I'm gonna uh, put some fairing compound and gel coat that before I drill the holes. Um, so that got done that needed to be done and also um, I have my bunk structure supports that go along the side of the boat here um, I have those cut out shaped and in resin and they are ready to be peanut buttered and glassed in um, I've been waiting to put the, the main bunk structures in to go here that I think I've shown in some other videos I've been waiting to put those in uh, after I put these in because it'll be a lot easier to glass and tab on the underneath of these without that stuff in the way. So uh, that's kind of been the hold up for that. But uh, I got those ready to go in so the next uh, time I'll work on the boat is uh, probably go ahead and put those in. So as you can kind of tell it's been a lot of like little small stuff that I've been having to do here and there to get everything prepped and ready to go for actually tabbing in some of the rest of the stuff that I have to uh, glass in, you know, the bunk structures uh, mainly right now. Um, and I also have to build my seat boxes as well. I haven't built those yet, um, though I'm pretty sure I know how I'm going to build them. And it's not going to be an issue now um, with the uh, side stringers here because I replaced those, so I don't have to worry about uh, building around those. Um, but I think, you know, now that I've gotten a lot of the smaller stuff done, the little tidbits that needed to be doing here and there, um, like I said, the next time I work on it, I'll be able to get the, uh, a lot of the bunk structure stuff, uh, glassed in and get that knocked out. And then I can start thinking about putting that final layer of, um, chop strand, the one and a half ounce chop strand on the floor and 
I can start gel coating this thing, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's we've had a couple nice days of cool weather here in Florida, and um, it's just making me chomping at the bit to get this thing done so I can have it ready for cool weather and spec fishing and camping and stuff like that. That's what I'm really looking forward to. So I'm hoping it, you know, I can have this thing on the water by the end of November. Um, I know I keep pushing my deadline back and back, but I think that's a pretty safe bet. Uh, unless something happens or I have to wait on supplies or whatever. Um, but uh, I think uh, I think the end of November and I'll at least have it in the water. It won't be completely done yet with the electrics and everything like that. But um, I should have the all the glassing done, the floor gel coated, uh, and the motor mounted, obviously. So I'm looking forward to it, and I'll keep you guys posted um, as it as it happens. So thanks for watching.